Hey everyone, today is Sunday, May 8th, and hopefully this will be our last week in Belhaven. Not that it's been a bad time here, but it's time to get moving again. And this week is going to be very overcast, cloudy, and cold <clears throat> for a good solid seven to eight days. So this is going to be a great opportunity to stress test our um, solar and battery system to see how this is going to work. We've never had such a stretch of cloudy days, so it'll be interesting to see how our charge and our um, our battery level changes over the week. I'm kind of excited. So I hope to do a little daily updates, just quick hits, where the battery level's at, what kind of power we brought in through solar, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hey everyone, today is day two of our cloudy week and the uh, clouds are a little lighter this morning. We were in 100% cloud cover yesterday. Uh, we only got down to 87% on our battery bank though overnight because even with the cloud cover yesterday, we still brought in 990 watt hours of power. So yeah, not doing too bad. Alrighty, catch you tomorrow. Hey everyone, this is day three and I'm going to hide behind our bimini top here just because uh, it's windy coming out of the east there. You can probably hear it blowing. So yes, it is cloudy again today, day three, and yesterday we did get a little break in the clouds and we got um, some late afternoon sun. So we did actually bring in 3.63 kilowatt hours of solar and that recharged our battery bank to full. So this morning we're only down to 93%. Uh, so I, the experiment is kind of bust. Um, actually, that's not true. It's not bust. It's just the result isn't quite what I was expecting. So I guess we'll keep going and see what happens. Alrighty, see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today is day four of the cloudy week. And yesterday was thick cloud cover like this all day. And surprisingly, we still brought in 2.49 kilowatts of power, which filled up the batteries again on a cloudy day. And um, this morning, we're just down to 93%. So I am really shocked. I thought the cloud cover would reduce our solar yield significantly. I was expecting to lose 10% of our battery bank uh, every day. I thought by the end of the week, we'd be down to 30% in our battery bank, but that is certainly not the case and it's not like i've been trying to skimp on using power if anything i've tried to use more power than i typically would um i've left the anchor light on at night i don't need to do that here in the marina but i've been trying to simulate it like we would be out you know at anchor and i've been cooking just as much as ever on the electric cooktops and then using the oven so I just, <clears throat> well, I'm just kind of shocked at the way this is turning out. Alrighty, I'll catch you tomorrow. Oh, there's a little jellyfish down here. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, today is day five and it is still cloudy. Yesterday we had 100% cloud cover. There is an updated forecast for this week, um, so the next four days, including today, is supposed to be scattered thunderstorms, and I know the results haven't been what I was expecting, but I'm wondering if with an increased water vapor in the atmosphere, if that's going to affect our, um, our solar yield. So yesterday, we did bring in 2.4 kilowatt hours of power, even under full cloud cover, so that's not too bad. We were in the bulk phase for the entire day, so we didn't uh, refill our battery bank completely, but it must have been darn close because this morning we were down to 93%, um, which is what we've kind of been hanging at all week every morning. So hopefully this uh, rain or these thunderstorms will give us a different result. So I guess I'll catch you tomorrow. Have a good one. Hey everyone, today is day six of our cloudy week, and today it's raining for most of the day. It's sprinkling very lightly right now. Um, it's supposed to pick up here shortly. Yesterday, we did bring in 2.31 kilowatt hours of power, so pretty good for a cloudy day. And um, it almost filled up our battery bank, but not quite. And this morning we started off the day at 91%. 
Alrighty, I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Uh, today is, I think, day seven. I'm starting to lose track of the cloudy days. We did have a little sunshine breakthrough yesterday afternoon, so we did bring in 2.83 kilowatt hours of power. And something's making noise over there. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Uh, and yesterday I did cook a lot, so I used the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour, and I used the induction cooktops quite a bit as well. So we, so I drained the batteries down um, a little bit. And today we started off the day at 84%. It is supposed to rain most of the day. So I guess I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day number eight of cloudy day, which it's not very cloudy. Uh, it's kind of weird, according to the weather, it's supposed to rain, be raining right now and be cloudy for the next I don't know, a couple hours, then get partly sunny, and then cloudy again, but I'm not sure I'm really buying that. <clears throat> uh, yesterday it was supposed to be raining all day, and it was not. Um, it was partly cloudy for a good part of the day, and was cloudy. We had little to no rain at all, so I don't know. Maybe the weather forecasters are being as accurate as normal. Um, but I did do a lot of cooking yesterday. Um, we did get a little bit of power in. It was somewhere around 2.3 kilowatt hours. Um, and our battery bank is down to uh, 80%. So with the sun, it'll be interesting to see what kind of power we can get in on a good sunny day. And hopefully that'll be today. So these solar panels have a little bit of dew on them, yeah, which is a good opportunity to clean them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them cleaned and hopefully we can wrap up this whole cloudy week experiment tonight if we get one good full day of sun. I'm thinking we can get maybe five kilowatt hours on a good sunny day, so it'll be interesting to see. Hey everyone, today is day nine and it's a little bit windy, so I'm going to stay under the canopy here. Um, I hope it doesn't come through on the mic too much. But yesterday, we um, brought in 4.38 kilowatt hours uh, of power, and that was under a partly sunny sky. So I think my estimate of 5 to 6 kilowatt hours during the summer on a purely sunny day is probably pretty accurate. We'll probably never find out, um, because yesterday I had to do everything I could to waste energy. I boiled extra gallons of water, um, I charged every battery that I had, I <laughs> had every light and fan on, it was pretty, pretty ridiculous. I was just trying to burn power so I could see what the system was capable of. And um, I guess bottom line is, in the summertime at least, I never ever have to worry about power no matter what I do. Um, I've just got tons and tons of it. And so 4.38 kilowatt hours, let me grab my calculator real quick to figure that out. How many batteries that would recharge? I should have done that beforehand, so let's see. 4.38 So it'll charge three and a quarter of my 100 amp batteries in one day, and that's at 13.4 volts. So that's not too bad, um, and I never ever use that much, unless I'm, for some reason, baking 16 loaves of bread or something. But yeah, no, it's, this is great. And in the wintertime, the big solar panels definitely do come in handy because the sun doesn't get anywhere near as high in the sky. Um, so we do have to be a little little more cautious then, but that's where the wind generator is really going to come in handy is in the winter time. So yeah, experiment over. It didn't um, end up the way that I thought it would. Um, I thought during the cloud cover we, we got way more solar than I was expecting. Um, and some of those days were pretty cloudy and raining and uh, we, we still harvested way more than I was expecting. So good news. 
it's not expected, but it's better than the alternative. I guess it's better to have too much power than to um, be scrounging, you know, if you get a cloudy week. So, yeah, it uh, turned out good. Alrighty, I uh, guess I'll catch you guys next week.